So who would have thought Tom Cleverley comes from absolutely nowhere to win the Ballon d'Or 2014? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Ridiculous, but that was the theme because David Luiz would then win the FIFA, uh, be in the FIFA World Team of the Year. But that's another thing that's ridiculous. But what was not ridiculous was Cristiano Ronaldo winning the Ballon d'Or 2014. Uh, well deserved for me. You could see the emotion that he had on his face when he was up there. He was crying last year when he won it. He was crying this year when he won, when he won it. First thing he said, he could just think about his son. All credit to him. I know a lot of people are going to give a lot of hate because they thought the Messi should have won it even Manuel Noel should have won it but uh, Cristiano Ronaldo for me deserved it um, to take Real Madrid to the point that they were in last season uh, it, it basically just dragged them into the not dragged them sorry take them into the Champions League final help them win the competition I thought he was outstanding throughout the year nothing against Messi I thought he had a great year as well but uh, I still think that Ronaldo was just that little bit better whether this year uh, next year will come into account who knows Messi and Ronaldo both firing and all cylinders at the moment so that'll be interesting so to round up the rest of the awards the starting 11 as we know coming up on your screen a few shocks in there uh, a lot of people saying that Thiago Silva and David Luiz should not have been in there for me Diego Godin should have been in there absolutely an amazing season for him 2014 to help Atletico Madrid win the La Liga get to the Champions League final um, and also perform pretty well in the World Cup so for that it was poor uh, I thought that he should have been in there so who knows Joaquim Lowe uh, sorry was actually named the manager of the year and he said in a very classy quote I am nothing without well-trained players. He gave all the credit to the German national team as he would go in to win that award. James Rodriguez won the goal of the year for his amazing strike in the Colombia game in the World Cup. Credit to him. And then Sepp Blatter, somewhat of a, a nice tribute, uh, tribute to uh, the Charlie Hebdo uh, killings in Paris. And it was a, get, a great touch from him to say that. But And then it, was kinda, it came out that he actually banned a cartoonist from drawing up his life. Uh, he actually put, uh, uh, made sure that he this cartoon drawing of of uh, a set blatter who was actually all for fair play was refused to be go out because it would disrespect, disrespect his character. So that was a little bit ironic, but uh, nonetheless, great to give uh, some tribute to those who had fallen. Uh, and then Nadine Kessler won the Women's Player of the Year. And of course, going back to it, rounding up the awards was Ronaldo winning uh, the Ballon d'Or. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Do you think Ronaldo deserved it? Do you think Messi should have won it or Manuel Neuer? Uh, let us know. Subscribe to TYT Sports. Follow us on Twitter at TYT Sports and me at Francis underscore Maxo. Thanks.